in the uh, Kachikawa's book, Sounding Race, he also talks about um, Jin, uh, uh, MC Jin. And uh, Jin is very interesting. Um, Jin was a huge deal in the early 2000s. And I remember this, you know, was a big deal because, you know, uh, he's, he, you know, he's Asian American. He's, chi he's Chinese, I believe. Um, and this was a huge deal. He would um, show up on the Freestyle Fridays on 106 and Park, which was a, a BET, uh, you know, show. And he would show up and the dude could fucking rip on the freestyle. I mean, I, I saw him before that freestyle. I mean, dude, dude could rip. Um, and it was crazy when he got signed the Rough Riders, you know, like Rough Riders was like, I don't know, like DMX and Eve and um, the Locks, you know, uh, I mean, and they signed like Jin, you know, it was kind of crazy, but he was, you gotta think about it, this is 2004, this is the first, you know, um, Asian American to be signed to a major record label in general, um, but as a rapper. So it was really like a big deal. Um, but he put, out, you know, he put out this album um, and the song Learn Chinese, right? And this, this features Wyclef John of the Fugees uh, who co-wrote it, made the beat, appears in the, in the music video. Um, and uh, it's interesting because it samples, it has two interesting samples, uh, Blind Man Can't See It by James Brown and, and Yellow Man's Mr. Chin. Yellow Man is a, a Jamaican reggae artist um, in his song Mr. Chin, which, you know, is an interesting sample um, in a song called Learn Chinese. Um, but basically, in this music video, I want you just to pay attention to how he plays up racial difference, how he plays with the fact that he is Chinese and he plays with some stereotypes of 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 uh, Asi Asians and Asian Americans in this and you know one of the reasons why this was such a fucking big big deal was because you you never you, there was no other than in DJing and you know if we can look at like some of the other arts like graffiti beat making you know but I'm talking about the ones that really get attention, which is rapping, you know, um, Asian Americans had not been represented at all, uh, at all, really in this art form on a, on a major level. So this was like a huge thing, you know, um, you know, and like, so I think it works kind of nicely off, off of looking at like the invisible scratch pickles and the influences of Pinoy, um, DJs, but like this was on a whole nother level, um, and it was really important and it meant a lot to a lot of, uh, you know, Asian kids, uh, you know, of all eth ethnic uh, identities, you know, Chinese, Japanese, to, to see an Asian kid on Rough Rider rec records, you know, blowing up, you know, as a rapper, you know, it was, it was really, it was really a big moment. Um, my friend Todd, actually Todd in Kasawan, um, Todd, I hope you check this out, brother. Uh, he, he actually toured with Jin when, when Jin was just had signed the Rough Riders and he shot the documentary on him. Um, but yeah, when we watch this music video, Learn Chinese, let's look at how Jin, the ways that Jin uses, you know, plays up his racial difference by, you know, being the delivery guy going into, you know, some of the, um, the Chinese mob things and themes in this and all that stuff. And how he, he, play, he, he brings up his race throughout the song to sort of downplay the fact because everybody was like, oh, it's Jin. He's Asian, you know, he's a rapper, you know, and he kind of was like, no, I'm Jin, and yes, I'm Asian, but I'm Jin the fucking MC, you know, like, I'm not, it doesn't matter, like, it, of course I'm Asian, of course, like, that's something, you know, I cannot get around or I can't avoid, you're going to see my race, and you're going to hear me articulate my race uh, th through my music, but, like, that aside, I'm fucking a dope MC, <laughs> that's what he, re you know, he really wanted uh, in so many ways. But it, it you know, uh, I wonder what Jin is doing now. Um, but he, he, you know, he really wants to sort of downplay his race here because it was made into such a, a huge, a huge thing in the in the culture and in the in, in the industry where he was more like, yo, I'm just a really, I'm really good at this, <laughs> you know, like cool, I'm I'm Asian 
And so let me just downplay that a little bit because what matters is like I can I can roast you on the mic and I got bars.